today we are going to make chicken palau simple and easy this is a simple chicken marination i'm using chicken breast boneless for this recipe because this is a different kind of palau which is quick and easy in one pot but uh, you can use chicken with bone as well but today i have decided to use boneless chicken only cut into chunk and then for the spices uh, we are going to add salt pepper turmeric garam masala chili powder you can check full ingredient on my uh, website www.laylascuisine.com now i am going to add half tablespoon ginger and garlic paste to tablespoon of plain yogurt do not add yogurt with sugar it's gonna be a bad combination so uh, I'm, all i'm doing right now is just give it a good mix and set it on a side you don't have to marinate this chicken for a long time but if you want to uh, overnight marinate the chicken overnight in the fridge that will be great as well this recipe will serve six to eight using a big pot i have add oil and ghee and to that i am going to add some cardamom cinnamon stick bay leaf just one black cardamom some uh, peppercorn and cloves add to this oil all right now we are going to add onion and then uh, fry the onion until light brown onion is brown Add some marinated chicken. Do not wait for the onion to get too brown because then uh, your chicken pulao will look too brownish. And now we are going to cook this chicken for eight to ten minutes. Now we are going to add some spices, which is cumin powder, garam masala powder, chili powder. This is a little bit. A nutmeg powder over here, turmeric powder, coriander powder, and did I say this is uh, cumin powder? So add this and also some salt and pepper. And then we are going to add half a table of ginger and garlic paste. And then give it a mix and uh, let it cook for another five to six, seven minutes. Keep the heat over medium low at this time so that the spices does not burn. If you see that the chicken didn't release uh, too much water, then you can add about like one third cup of water just to let it cook. Add the plain yogurt. So yogurt and ginger garlic paste, I have used um, half half, like half tablespoon and then uh, Oh, in total, we need one tablespoon ginger and garlic paste, and I use it like in uh, two steps. And also plain yogurt, in total, we need four tablespoons. So I have add two tablespoons when I uh, uh, marinate the chicken, and then the rest of the two tablespoons I add now. So now you can see the adding the yogurt. Uh, you can see some gravy uh, in this chicken right now. And now it's time to add the rice rice is in before you add water gently take your spoon and mix without breaking the rice so very gentle you don't want to mix too too much so just add the water and at this point if you see you need salt you can taste the water from this chicken from the pulao and then uh, you can add more salt according to your taste so now we are going to cover partially cover and let it cook until all the water dries it's been 28 minutes now let's open up and uh, now you can see how the water has everything is dry and let's move the rice and the chicken and now you can see actually i need to change this spoon get something like flatter 
better to use a non-stick so you can see nothing has been sticking inside and there's no water left and your chicken pulao is ready now you can turn the heat off sprinkle some chopped coriander and your pulao your chicken pulao is ready to serve hope you enjoyed this video with me and please do like subscribe and share with your family and friends and i will see you next time with another one for now bye bye